Yo, what's good, guys? So I'm back today. I gotta be kind of quiet because it's pretty late and everybody's asleep in my house. So just gonna go for my log on tower here. Um, I'm two wins away from ultimate champion right now. The season just reset, so I'm already almost the ultimate champ. Um, there's only about like 10 to 15 people there right now. So if I could get there, that would be pretty impressive, I think. Um, and I think there's no expo players that have made it yet. So I might be the first one if we manage to get there. He's going to go for a hunter. So it looks like he's playing either balloon. Okay. He's probably playing um, Royal Giant with, yeah, with Skeleton King. Um, honestly, I'm not going to complain about it because I'd rather face the Skeleton King than the Monk. So um, definitely not a great matchup, but we can, it's winnable. Let's just put it that way. So, um, he's going to go for a Fisherman. That's fine. I'll just match that with my Knight in the back here. Uh, he's going to go E-Spirit. I don't really have anything in rotation for that, so that's going to connect. Um, also going to get a decent log right there. All right, the Fisherman just, like, retargeted. Okay, wait, that's really aggressive. Um, he's not going to have enough for RG, so he's going to have to play a skeleton king i'm gonna go skellies and then actually go for a log to hopefully catch him off guard here okay now he he reacted pretty uh quickly with that hunter there so that's pretty well played by him um i didn't expect him to have four elixir right there if i'm being honest i thought he was at like two maybe three um but anyways we just go ice Fizz. he's gonna just counter that easily with the one elixir e-spirit so not a great start to the game to be honest um in double, or I think in triple elixirs when we're going to have to bring this back. Um, we need to try and keep it close in double. Hopefully it gives us some rocket value by his towers or goes for an RG in the back or something like that. Anyways, he's going to go Fisherman. I'm actually going to just set up a defensive expo. Yeah, he goes Skeleton King, so that's pretty good timing there. Um, he's going to just go with an RG in this lane, which is fine. Um, I'm actually going to log it off so, it, so my expo stays alive and helps deal with that Skeleton King as well. Um, he's gonna pop ability, which is kind of weird. I don't know why he did that. I'm gonna just go in with another expo right here because I kind of have a good setup. Um, he's gonna go RG in the opposite lane. Okay, this is interesting. Um, okay, maybe I should have natoed first and not done that. Did I mess up here? Okay, wait, he goes for a lightning. Um, there's no way he gets a royal giant done, right? There's no way. Okay, I'm gonna need that fisherman right away. Nice, we get a we get a connection here. He's gonna go RG now, yeah. Okay, so he's also gonna go E Spirit, which is fine. I'm just gonna go Knight to help damage down this RG, and then I'll go Skeletons for this fisherman on the left lane here. So really good lock on there. We get him down to 2100. Um, I'm honestly just gonna keep up the pressure. He's probably gonna Skeleton King this, which is fine. Um, all right, he's gonna go Lightning, which is completely fine with me. I could honestly go for a Rocket on Tower if I wanted to right now. Um, I'm gonna log this, and then if he doesn't activate ability, I might go for a rocket. Um, I'm not gonna get too aggressive yet. I'm already up 400 damage, so I don't want to throw the game. So I guess I'll just set up another defensive. Okay, he's gonna go RG in the back. Hmm, that's not great for me, to be honest. I'm just going to go for an Ice Wiz in the back. He's probably gonna get a good lightning here out of all this. But I'm going to try and space things out as, as best as I can. Um, honestly, I'm going to go for a rocket to kill this fisherman and the skeleton king. It doesn't hit the RG, which is kind of annoying because it walked towards that Tesla right there. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to nade this up, which is actually good because we catch the fisherman. And then, okay, yeah, we win this bridge battle pretty easily here. Um, he's going to switch lanes and try and go in since I played Tesla. Not a terrible play, but it's kind of too late for that if you ask me. He's going to go for the Lightning, but I do have another Tesla back in cycle. And I can just set up a defensive expo right out of Lightning range. And this should be pretty much GG's. 20 seconds left. There's no way he breaks through as long as I don't make a mistake. He's going to go for a Fisherman, which is completely fine. I'm going to go for a Rocket now. And then just go for this NATO to make sure this RG dies without any shots. Okay, perfect there. And yeah, I was to slow everything down. Log on this right side here. And then I'm going to go for the Rocket to win the game. So yeah. Pretty solid uh, first game, I would say. Just gonna test that to make sure that RG doesn't walk through. But um, that's honestly a difficult matchup. 
It would have been much harder if he had Monk or if he had Zappies, so I'm pretty thankful that he doesn't have either of those. But I think that's going to put us one win away from Ultimate Champion, if I'm not wrong. Let me check real quick. Yeah, one win away. Um, and as you guys see, there's, yeah, 15 people currently in it, so maybe we can be the 16th. Um, okay, we find a game right away, so I don't have to cut search time. That's kind of clutch. GR8 underscore Z. I have no clue what this guy plays. He has a really crazy name, though, so maybe he has a crazy deck to match that name. Um, he's going to go Scout, or not Skeleton King, um, Mighty Miner in the back. I'm forgetting the names of the champions because, you know, there's only one champion being used right now. Um, so I'm just going to go for a log on top of this Dark Goblin. And then, okay, I kind of placed that Tesla way too late. I was scared of him doing something else with that um, Skeleton Barrel, but he ended up not. Okay, so he's got Goblin Gang as well. This is interesting here. I don't really know what. Maybe he has like a Mega Knight Bait deck. Okay, he's gonna go for... Um, yeah, okay. So just gonna go for a log on this left side here, and then... Probably not defend this, because I can go for an Expo. Um, I think he's in trouble here. He used his recruits already, so I don't know what he has to counter this. It seems like he just has a bunch of bait stuff, which is really good because I have a tornado, so... Okay, he has a rocket. Nice. Oh, wait, I, th I think I've played this guy before just like a long time ago. I remember him having something just absolutely stupid like this. Um, but you know what? I respect it because it's off meta. So this is one of those matchups where if I had Valkyrie, this would be the freest win ever because he has so many bait cards. Whereas Knight really doesn't do anything, it just kind of is the, is a distraction. Um, but like the goblins are really actually the goblins actually put in work against the knight. Like the knight does a really bad job against goblins. So just gonna go for a Tesla for the skeleton barrel here. Um, he goes for a dark goblin. Just gonna log. Okay, I played that a little bit early, but it's not the end of the world. Um, okay, here comes the push, guys. Oh, I can just tell he's gonna go with the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Um, sometimes you can just tell if that makes sense. Uh, he's gonna go in really hard here. I don't know why, because he doesn't really have, like, a great setup, if you ask me. He just kind of went in with, like, three sets of goblins and then, um, <coughs> wall breakers. So I'm just gonna go for another expo. He's gonna rock it once again, which is fine, I guess. We're gonna get, like, 400 damage. Um, alright, we're, okay, I played that one tile too low. My finger kind of slipped right there, but it's fine. Um, I think I can just NATO this in. Dark Goblin might get a shot, yes. That's fine, though. Um, I'm just gonna cycle my knight here. He might honestly rocket this, we'll see. Yeah, he does, okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go Tesla. And I'd like to go Defensive Expo, but I don't really have a great cycle. Um, I'm gonna go Offensive Expo, I think. And then Ice Boost on top of this uh, Mighty Miner, so we don't take too much damage. He's that Dark Goblin in the center is killer. Um, I'm going to just have to Tesla in the center here. Alright, these wall breakers are scaring me a little bit, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm gonna have to NATO this barrel off. He goes for wall breakers. I don't want to use my log. I'm just gonna go ice waves. Okay. This is tough. Um, see, I want a defensive expo, but I know the second I do, he's just gonna recruit. Yeah, there it is. Um, I'm going to have to log this right lane just to kill the goblins, because I have no way to kill them, since I don't have Valkyrie. Um, this is kind of getting scary, I'll be honest. I don't have a great response to what he's doing. Uh, I'm going to just have to log again. That dark goblin is going to go crazy, though. Okay, we can just Tesla this. Luckily, he didn't split that up right there. Oh, no. Oh, I have to ice with this. This is not good. Um, okay, we're in triple, though, so this is my time to... Hopefully, just get my bearings and defend this push, like, cleanly. I'm gonna go skellies in the back. Log this left side, because that Dark Goblin needs to die right away. Um, going to go for a NATO on this gang right here. And then Tesla to kite back this barrel. Hopefully, my Expo does a little bit to help out with this barrel. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, okay, he's not gonna rocket this one, so I'm gonna try and defend this with everything I have. NATO, NATO this gang off, and then go Ice Fist for this barrel. Oh wait, oh wait, he pops the ability, that's a really big mistake. 
Yeah, my expo box on tower. He didn't have any ground units down. I don't think he realized that. Um, okay, his tower's down to 200. Um, okay, what? I need to NATO all this in and then go for an ice boost on this right lane here. Gonna go for a log to kill that dark goblin. And I think we win. Yes, we do. Let's go. So that was really, really close. Um, honestly, I don't know if we would have won that if he didn't pop that ability. But I think he thought that he had more units on the board, like something to tank for the expo while that ability went off. But we will take that win. That matchup was definitely extremely difficult. I don't know what that deck was, but yeah, we're going to hit ultimate champion here. 72% win rate. Not bad, honestly. I'll take that. Um, uh, number eight in the world, too. So yeah, pretty solid. I'm going to try and... That's not loading. Yeah, number eight in the world. Going to try and find a game, and we'll see you guys if I find one. Okay, so we ended up finding a match against Sasuke here. I'm not sure what he's playing, but just gonna leak a little bit of Elixir here. I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of scared to make first plays in this meta since there's so many Phoenixes and uh, Monks and like Mirror decks. So just gonna honestly wait for him. If he doesn't do anything, I'll go for a Knight now. Okay, he has arrows, so it looks like it could be Elixir Golem or um, just like Phoenix Cycle. So honestly, I'm just going to go with an Expo right now. Um, he goes for a healer in the back. That's fine. I'm going to NATO this E-Drag in right away. Um, E-Drag is really, really annoying to kill. So I'm happy that we get to um, pretty much kill it freely. So yeah, it looks like he's playing Eagle. Um, another interesting matchup. Like It really just depends on how good of defenses I can play. All right, he goes for an Elixir Collector. That is not what we like to see, um, especially in an Elixir Golem deck. You'll probably mirror this as well, just guessing that he has mirror. Um, yeah, okay, there he's going to mirror it. So, hmm. I guess we just have to go for the Expo here. I don't really have many options. Okay, he goes for an Eagle, and he'll probably go Healer as well. Yeah, he does. All right, so I'm just kind of... Forced to sit back and let this die and try and defend this push now. Um, going to log off the blobs as soon as the first one pops. And then... Try and NATO this stuff in. Okay, that did not really work how I was, how I was hoping it would, but... I, mean, I don't think we're dead, because that phoenix is going to pull. Okay, we're not dead. He does have the Elixir Collector down still, though, the level 15 one, so that's not great. Um, he's not going to go for another pump, so I think this is kind of good for me. And I know... Oh, okay, <laughs> maybe I spoke too soon. I know this looks, like, really, really bad, guys, but I think I can defend this since he doesn't have, like, four Elixir Collectors on the board. Um, he's going to split up his push, though. This is going to get really annoying. I'm going to try and not rock it, because if I do, I'll be completely screwed. Gonna log this left side in the night as well. And then Ice was down low here. I'm gonna actually allow that E-Dragon to go on my tower because I need to focus on defending this left side. We didn't we have a really nice log there to clean up the egg from the Phoenix, but he's already got another push coming down. Okay, this is uh this is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna go Ice was in the right lane here. Let's see what he wants to do. I'm honestly going to Rocket this push on the left because I just don't see myself killing it. Like, I don't know how I'm going to kill all those troops. Um, but we do manage to defend it decently well. Um, and then we can go for an expo of our own right here. He's going to go healer in the center. I'm actually going to Tesla low because he'll probably go Phoenix at the bridge if I went high. Okay, he's still going to go Phoenix at the bridge, which is okay. I'm going to log this off as well as Skelly's. Um, NATO everything in here so he doesn't get another healer or anything down. He's actually going to go for an Eagle at the bridge. That's a really bad play, I think, because he has nothing supporting it. Um, yeah, that's that's really good for me. Just going to log this off so we don't take infinite damage here and then go for an Expo. He tries to predict the Phoenix, but I think we have enough units at the board to actually win this bridge battle. I'm definitely going to go for it. Um, log to kill the healer. Honestly, I'm going to go for the NATO on zero on this blob. Please get a lock. Yes, we get the lock on. Nice, he actually goes for the um, Elixir Golem mirrored way too late. I'm going to go Skelly's to block the E-Drag shot because I know he's going to play E-Drag. Okay, nice clutch there, and I think that's just game. Yeah, that's game. So that E-Drag, or those Skelly's actually won me the game because my Expo got that little bit extra damage. 
So we'll definitely take that. Played that one really well. Um, I'd say almost perfectly. Okay, I don't know why he's doing that emote. Like, I don't have that emote. But yeah, we'll definitely take that win there against Stinky Eagle and dude. Ugh. But anyways, um, we're still going to be, yeah, number eight in the world. Not going to move up at all. Because, uh, yeah, we did get hard countered by RG Monk, so I didn't even show that game. But, yeah. Okay, I wanted to just show one replay at the end of this video here, because this is honestly one of the hardest matchups in the game right now. Logbait Monk. Um, and it's decently popular, so I wanted to just kind of show you guys what I did against, what I do against it, and, like, how I play around them having the monk to fully counter the expo. So in this one, I'm just going to, I don't know he has monk yet. So I go for the knight in the back. He goes for the rocket. I'm like, okay, 99% of the time I'd go into an expo, but they did release this new card that can block your expo damage and reflect it. So we recognize that he goes barrel in the back here and we catch it with the skellies. That was actually really well played by me because I didn't have my NATO or my login cycle. So I kind of got a little bit lucky that he plays the uh, barrel in the back there. We predict the princess at the bridge with the Tesla. That's really that's really satisfying when you do that. Um, one of the best feelings when you're playing against Logbait, to be honest. I'm just going to go for an Ice Woods. You need to prevent all damage in this matchup. Like, this is, this is very, very crucial. You need to take literally minimal damage if you want to win this. Um, because he's always going to be able to get a little bit of damage with the Monk ability as well as like princess shots and like log cycle stuff like that so right here i'm up like three and a half elixir but i don't have an expo anywhere near so no way to punish um, i know i'm up elixir so i'm not going to go for the tesla right away to predict the princess but i still know that log bay players cannot help themselves right so i do go for the tesla while i'm at when i'm at when i hit 10 and we actually catch the princess for the second time already not even double elixir yet and we've caught in two princesses so at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go for the rocket, right? Um, he goes for a barrel at the exact same time, so that was kind of unlucky. But luckily, he plays a gang that was kind of bad um, because we were able to clip a little bit of it with the NATO. But at this point, we're hitting double. He's going to go Monk at the bridge. This is going to get damaged. There's nothing we can do about um, this. So I kind of have a like a really bad hand here. I kind of am forced to go with an awkward Tesla in the center. I know he's going to go Princess, but luckily we're quick enough to react to the log. So the Princess doesn't get any damage right there. Um, going to go for the Rocket on Tower now, and then he's also going to do the same in Barrel at the same time. Uh, I know the Barrel was like a little bit to the right, so I wouldn't be able to fully counter it, but I still get the King Tower activation. He goes for the Prediction Inferno. I don't like that play from him because it allows me to, like, kind of dictate what's going to happen next since he plays that 5 Elixir. Um, we do play this one, this interaction almost perf like quite literally perfectly, I think, because we defend the Tesla really well. We pull back the Monk so it doesn't get on our tower, and then we're able to go for a Rocket because he plays that Inferno. And I want to just point out the Elixir right now. Look at the Elixir where even he's... He's about to rocket my tower, guys, so I know he's about to rocket. This Inferno actually doesn't hit the Expo if you play it right here in this tile. So I go for that right away. Um, I know he's really low on Elixir, so I'm going to spam him with everything I have. Um, we block at the bridge here. Um, and then I'm back to my rocket already. We go for it immediately because we just need to get back to one more to win the game. He goes for his own rocket, but in this situation, all I need is like a NATO, a log, or like two NATOs, or two logs, and a rocket. I know I can't use my log because, um, like, I need that to finish off the tower, right? So I go for the rocket, and I don't want to risk logging because he could use the monk ability and reflect it back on my tower. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, um, and we're getting close to 10k, so thank you guys for all the support recently.